Here I am on the harbor front in Boston on a balmy spring day, which means it's time for us to talk about Summerfest, summer lager. Aren't you cold? Me? Cold? Yeah. A little. Uh, yeah, I'm but... cold and I got a jacket on. Okay, so it's spring and it's 20 degrees and it's... Well, the sun, the sun is, is out. The sun is up, but yep. never fear, Summerfest is on its way. Right I'll around the corner. It. I'm gonna get a coat. Well, it's right around the corner. We are on the waterfront enjoying Summerfest, crisp summer lager. This is our bohemian style pilsner. Uh, it, it, it is one of the world's classic beer styles. I mean, bo yep. bohemian pilsners were invented, give or take, in the 1840s. Been around for a long time. One of the first, you know, kind of golden, clear beer right. styles ever invented. I mean, it's really become the world's most popular style, but sadly, you know, kind of over the years, a lot of brewers have kind of dumbed this beer down, which is really a shame. Yeah, I mean, brewers started introducing adjuncts uh, in the form of rice and corn, and that really took away from the malt character of this beer. Yeah. Um, and also, too, they really started actually backing down the hop character, um, reducing the bitterness of the beer, backing down those aroma hops, taking out that spiciness in the beer. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, you know, it's really sad to kind of see this great classic beer style with the volume turned down. I mean, the, the fact that brewers are doing that is really kind of the opposite of what the craft brewing movement is really all about. I mean, yeah. craft brewers are really interested in kind of adding more flavor and more character, more kind of depth to all the beers and, and finding a different way to, to engage people and really, you know, get those yeah. flavors across it, to, to get people to want to grab this and just know yeah, that this it, is your beer. That's whenever Ken sat down, you know, years ago and said, I want to make a traditional style lager, a craft lager. Yeah. And, you know, introducing 100% whole cone hops, getting that bitterness back up. Yeah. And, you know, I think we should go inside where it's a little bit warmer and let's pour it into a glass and yeah, get actually, down to yeah, get down to it. To try this one out. I'm right on. to do that. So cheers. cheers. Stay with us. Hey, so we're back from the piers. We're inside yep. now, and uh, you know, again in uh, you know restaurant and a bar, which is a great place here in uh, here in Boston. I like bars. Drinking some so I like bars too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drinking Summerfest. You know, summer's on its way. That's all we can it's, say. I mean, it's getting warmer every day. It's getting lighter every day. Yep. It feels good. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I mean, that's the thing about uh, you know, summer loggers or nice drinking loggers. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's just easy, easy on the palate. Um, you know, you don't have the warmth of winter. You yeah. don't want a big alcohol beer. You don't yeah, want something that heavy bomb. and yeah, sure. and and pull you down. But I mean, the one thing about loggers that I really love, and and you know, especially you know, Bohemian style Pilsner, is that real kind of crisp bitterness that comes on and just nice clean finish to the beer. I mean that's what's so great about it. I mean like you know lagers are easy drinkers for yeah. sure, but they got they've got a ton of complexity. You know I mean that's you know they got they've got a decent nice malt background and then that big kind of punch of hops that makes it interesting enough. I mean it's it, it's really one of the world's most perfect beers, you know? Yeah. I mean it's got that the malt sweetness, the right. hop, the hop punch, the good com you know, it's just Well, it's I, th really I think delicious. one of the things that is is like misconceived about uh, you know true Pilsner style Pilsner, beer yeah. is is they're not easy to make. No, and they really and they show flaws very yeah. easily. Um, you know, so whenever you get that right combination of your four basic ingredients, yeah. you know, you got your zatops that we use in ours. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we use a lot of Pilsner malt in it, yeah. so it gives it and nice tr traditional, yeah, you know, traditional. biscuity characters. Um, you get, you know, you got to have your soft water, yeah. um, otherwise you're gonna throw off the whole balance of the beer. Mm -hmm. Um, and then a nice clean yeast character yeah. uh, in the beer and just kind of rounds out that whole beer. And, and when, when you, you know, you, you don't quite nail everything properly, yeah, it really shows, go off yeah, the rail it just really, really shows I mean, in the beer. That's, so. that's the thing. I mean, you know, these are like, you know, this is beer, you know, right. it's what people think about when they're thinking about beer. It's got, you know, it, it is an easy drinker, but right. that's the thing. I mean, it, it really does showcase, you know, the kind of, you know, four elements of beer that well, the, are, you know. The, the art of the, making yeah, beer, and that's, right? that's it. You know I mean? It show, showcases the brewer's art. I mean, right. this is really the kind of pinnacle of the, the skill of a brewer is doing, right. doing these kind of really complex tasting lagers with, yeah. you know, like you said, there's just no margin of error. And that, I think that's what's really great. I mean, you, put, you use good ingredients use them in a good way and that those ingredients kind of shine it's like a chef you know you right. these like farm fresh things 
straight from the field using the best ingredients in a simple preparation and kind of putting them out there to let the ingredients speak for themselves. That's what a lager is. That's what a proper pilsner is supposed to be. Just makes for just an excellent drinking beer, especially on a nice warm day. Uh, when you don't want to load yourself Perfect. down with you a know, big sun, heavy sun duty beer. Watching baseball. I, mean, I know. Not, not a bad thing to do. You we know? should I mean, be in our speedos <laughs> in like shirtless <laughs> or Nobody something wants right to now. watch that. I can promise you that. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway. Well, cheers. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, listening to our blither and uh, check out a summer fest. It's amazing. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I went too far. I apologize. <laughs> we just right. lost every viewer we I know. possibly I, I ever so. had. Yeah. That was the sound of 2,000 computers simultaneously turning off. <laughs>